Despite Edith Cavill's death, uh, public subscription, such, such was the affection that the British population had for the heroic uh, act actions that, uh, that, that, that she became known for, um, that they raised a the public subscription and in 1917, the charity was founded and has been giving out grants to uh, nurses in difficulty ever since, ever since then. It's fantastic to be able to do this. Um, I think it's a fantastic opportunity provided by the Trust. Um, and to be an ambassador for the Cavell Nurses Trust is, is, is fantastic. Edith Cavell, there are so many things named after. There are car park, there's a car park in Peterborough, there's a mountain in Canada, there's a bit of a plan, planet Venus. But what she really wanted was her name allied to nursing. It's such a, a proud history, really, and tradition. And and that the profession is able to put something back and perhaps help those nurses, midwives, healthcare assistants, student nurses and midwives who maybe have fallen on hard times or experiencing some kind of distress, difficulty. We've had over a hundred entries from universities right across the country. We had a fantastic panel of judges uh, who had, I think, a really tough job. Um, I thank the judges for their commitment uh, and uh, application. I know they did, did, did well and they worked hard on that. Um, I too have to add my uh, thanks to Kate's for our sponsors through even the Rothschilds, uh, Aranda Foundation and Glaxo SmithKline. You are the bright orange future for nursing. I think a future where nurses and midwives will be right at the forefront of what happens in healthcare in the future and it will be you I am sure that will be leading the way in giving highly individualised care for vulnerable patients and for women in maternity settings. I'm going to use the scholarship award to travel to Australia. Um, I'm going to go to a neonatal unit in Brisbane um, and just see what work they're doing in looking at discharge planning of um, sort of newborn infants from the unit. The scholarship award, award will allow me to go over to Colorado to do a course in exercise and cancer recovery. After, when, after finding out that I won the award, I think it's made me a lot more conscious of my work in Queen's and it's made me realise that I can do a lot more with my nursing degree. I have actually uh, submitted an abstract for presentation at the RCOG conference in Malaysia in June. So obviously the conference fees and the flights and um, accommodation for, for going to that conference would be quite costly. So it actually means then that I can put the travel bursary towards that, which is, which is excellent, you know, then I don't have to worry about finding the, the money for that. I'll be using the scholarship award. In fact, I fly three weeks today. I'm, I'm off to a general hospital in Malaysia to work in their accident and emergency department for a seven week nursing placement. I can think of no better way of concluding my part of this evening by saying both to the trust and to the award winners and those of you that are working in healthcare, have courage, be courteous and aspire to be the very best. Thank you. This evening has been really inspiring to see the young nurses and midwives receive their awards. Um, but I've always been moved by Edith Cavell. It's one of the stories I learned when I was a young girl. And to see the kind of work in both supporting nurses and midwives and healthcare assistants, but also in giving awards to the students who are the next generation, I think is really important. And it's been a very beautiful evening with very inspiring speeches. Oh, the awards today have been fantastic. It's been really lovely to come and see some of the nurses and midwives of the future, for them to be um, given awards for, their, for the work that they're doing. I mean, I just think that it's, she would be immensely thrilled and it's an honour to her that, this, that she's being remembered in this way. I think it's just, it's just a, a privilege really to be able to connect it to such a charity that supports 
people in our profession and um, I, you know when you're entering a profession it's nice to feel that you're supported and knowing that there's a group of people out there who really sort of are behind you is just yeah it's just a really great start to my career and I couldn't really ask for anything more.